On the Chinese note, you, there, you'll go to so many Thai restaurants yeah. in India that say Thai, 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 yeah. but it's ultimately basically chili chicken is what yeah. they give you. Like everything in life ends up being chili chicken. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> and so that is to the Indian palate. Yeah. And what fascinates me about this country is it must be so hard to do alternate cuisine. Because yeah. no matter what, we as Indians, like, you know, as a North Indian, that they'll say, like, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, sure. like, I'll take my mom for sushi for 2,000 rupees, and then yeah. she wants dal chavel at home. Yeah. And if I do take her to a Mexican restaurant, like it's not spicy enough, or yeah, like, yeah. well, you knew signing up that this is the cuisine we're gonna have. Yeah. So how do you? What is tricky about catering to an Indian palate, middle class or not middle class or whatever? Yeah. Like, what are the struggles specific to our country of having a non-Indian restaurant in in India? Okay, so I mean, I'd say that. Uh, okay, one thing to remember when you run a restaurant, no matter what it is, that you cannot. If there are hundred people who walk into your door, not all hundred are gonna be. Uh, you can't please all 100. Of course. So your goal yeah. is to please as many out of that 100 as possible. You can't even so, please one woman sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cut so, that, are we? No, no, no. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. So uh, I was saying that, you know, you, you always have to keep it. I mean, this is just to set your expectations as a restaurant owner uh, realistically to say that, okay, fine, out of 100 people that come in, I need to make sure that 95 of them are absolutely thrilled. Sure. Okay? Like, and and, and I, I would say that we've been fortunate because... Chinita as a brand, as a concept, and the quality of the food and everything has been in the market for five years now. So people, I, I'd, I'd say our rates are about that, you know, like out of 100 people who come in, 95 absolutely love the food. Sure. Maybe three or, three or four will, you know, uh, say that, you know, maybe something was missing from the dish or, you know, yeah. I would have preferred if you had, uh, you know, maybe a dish that's not traditionally Mexican on the menu. Like we get a lot of requests for fajitas. Or and, French fries for the kids or something. Yeah, that, that's yeah, happened yeah. too. We've asked yeah. for French fries and people have asked for Mexican pizza. You know, yeah. it's, these things have all, you know... Uh, no, I just thought of a story. Yeah, but, uh, please, please. But, uh, want, yeah. but yeah, and, and there will be one out of a hundred people who actually don't like the doesn't okay. like the food. Yeah. So please so, give us one of these stories. Actually, you can't no, no, say so that. I'm like, also, you, like can, you can not name names, but I'm just no, like, there's no it. names. I don't know yeah, the yeah. customers' names, okay. but like, there was a table that you know when I used to be at the restaurant morning to evening. Yeah. A table came in and basically started complaining about the food and saying that it's not. Uh, you know, in, I like we know Mexican food really well, and yeah. this is definitely not Mexican, and you know this is. Uh, so they actually asked to call me out. So I came and spoke to the table nicely and uh, had a nice chat with them. They were really nice people and everything. But then it came into this thing saying that, you know, and I think even uh, the lady who was on the table, she said, you know, listen to this guy. He knows his, his Mexican yeah. food really well. Uh -huh. So I listened to all his feedback and mm -hmm. it was fine. I mean, like he said, you know, maybe the beans, some, you know, just. Yeah. Uh, I, I would have preferred a dish with beans or without. I can't remember exactly. This was a few years ago. Okay. But then I asked him. I, was, I mean, just this was just in, to genuinely understand, like, like, are you from uh, Mexico yeah, is, City? Yeah, exactly. Have you been like, to Tijuana? You, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I asked him, where, where have you eaten Mexican food before? <laughs> yeah. He says, I've eaten a lot of California pizza kitchen. Oh and, God. Uh, oh and, goodness. Uh, and yeah, uh, Taco Bell. And Chipotle, or so. Oh <laughs> Lord. That's Tex-Mex, by the way. Yeah, they yeah. are. I mean, you know. Yeah. So no, but I'm saying, what do you do? You still have to, you know, sort of. Uh, yeah. I, I'm obviously not going to say anything at the time, but. You have to take everyone's feedback and you of have course. to, that's the other thing, you have to be humble in this uh, industry. You can't ever, the moment you find, like, and I say this to our staff all the time too, like we have weekly meetings with the staff to sort of, because our culture in the, within the restaurant is so strong internally, I mean, like even when we open a second restaurant, that Chinita culture permeates to the second restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I say it to them, like at the moments when you guys start getting cocky, okay, you start thinking that, oh, we are so popular, we have like waiting yeah. outside and you know, like. Yeah, you know, if a customer calls to, you know, I'm saying you have to fight for every table that comes sure. here. Every single person that calls, no matter what, if you have 12, be 12 tables waiting, the 13th table should also, you know, I feel, mean, it's not, like, that. They, yeah, it's not yeah. like they're all coming at once, but you know what I mean? Like, you cannot ever get cocky and say that, oh, we are a popular place and, you know, uh, therefore we don't need to try as hard. Absolutely not. You have to like try harder in that situation, and at times when you do get cocky, you will find the business to go start to go oh, down. You know, a hundred percent. I was just talking to my last guest that basically once you're at the top, staying there is a whole other ball game, and your insecurity for me personally would be at the at the highest when things yeah. are going well. Yeah, absolutely. Because I want to make sure that edge is still there. You have that, to protect what you have. Of like, course, very strongly. Yeah, you yeah. cannot get lazy. How many and, reviews? Yeah. Which I want to get to next. Yeah. As what. I'm so glad I don't own a restaurant because yeah. people are ruthless on reviews. And, and, and some of them are wrong, by the way, you know, but like, um, like. Birdie num num. Birdie num num. Birdie num num. Birdie num num.